This is Tech Radio, episode 1000. Social media has gone from a novelty for college students to a way of life and a way of making money for content creators. Mary Rose Lyons from the Institute of AI Studies has seen it all. And she had a chat with Niall Kitson about how social media has changed our basic understanding of what friendship is. There's a really amazing writer called Sherry Turkle. And she studies how our language has changed over time. And it's so interesting. But, you know, the way words come from social media and they come into our normal kind of parlance and then they become just like a, nor- a normal word, even just kind of the, the, the language of uh, emojis, for example, is perfectly acceptable in business context now that came from social media. And then there's also the kind of, you know, the hashtag people would sort of, I think it's a bit naff, like somebody would do something and say hashtag, you know, feeling all right. I love the way there's that flow between technology and the way humans engage and the way we engage in real life. But I know that the kind of Gen Z generation coming up, um, they, they don't really see the kind of the two different realities in the same way as us older folks do. For them, it's just there's life. I think something that uh, older people, of which I, I count myself as one uh, these days, the element of discovery for new material, new books, new music, new films, whatever, used to be based on word of mouth, reading magazines, watching TV shows, find, trying to find any avenue of information. That's something that people really don't, don't have or don't need anymore, thanks to the algorithm. Um, do you think the algorithm has become an aid or a limiting factor when it comes to finding new material or new ideas? Well, to answer that question, I just explain how I find new books to read, for example, or new shows to watch. And it's something I've been doing in 2023. And I urge everyone listening to give this a whirl. Uh, Screw the algorithm. Don't have the algorithm tell you what you're going to read, watch, do, say, where you're going to go on holidays anymore. But instead, go over to ChatGPT or Claude or Bing or Bard or any one of these new generative AI large language models. So what I like to do is to put into one of them, the following are my all time favorite books. And I'll put in maybe five or six titles that I've just really enjoyed reading. And I'll say, give me a list of 10 or 12 or 15 or 100 if I want to. There's no penal penalty for asking for more. Give me a list of five books that I might like. So I've done this several times this year. And when I look at the list, the first thing I I notice is that the books that it's recommending, I'll have read about 70 or 80 percent of them because they're the kind of books I like. And I have gone off and discovered new books and also new shows to watch and films on the basis of AI. So what I'm finding in my experience is that I'm having a lot more um almost like flashbacks to the early days of the web before semantic web came and pretty much all of our experience was is is pretty much based on what we've kind of come to expect. It's not like that in AI. You're still getting those kind of random crazy items, particularly in the world of uh, text to video. When you do a text to video on a, on an app like, say, Runway, for example, you get these you can get these crazy looking outputs. And it just delights me that that's still possible in our in our game. It hasn't been it hasn't been ironed out yet and hasn't been algorithmed. Uh, is, is that where that sort of mid 2000s energy for social media has now migrated to? Yeah, I would say so. There's a lot of people who are probably sick and tired of it. Like, you know, the fact that, you know, Instagram is this kind of like beautiful, beautiful world. You know, TikTok is great. It's like it's a lot of fun and it can be kind of it doesn't have to be as as perfect. LinkedIn is, you know, the I'm so proud. So if you don't want to be engaging in any of those spaces, um, maybe create your own space, go and have conversations with AI and learn something or, or ask it questions or ask it to kind of be your coach, ask it to be your life coach, ask it to critique your, your, your long held ideas about a particular point in the style of uh, Freud or, for example, um, have a bit of crack with it, you know. That was Mary Rose Lyons from the Institute of AI Studies. You'll find her contact details in the show notes of our podcast. And next week, we'll have the full interview with Mary Rose about all things social media and AI. 
From TechCentral.ie, this is the award-nominated Tech Radio from TechCentral.ie. 